Hello church, good midweek to you. We're kind of in a lull of the summer right now, so there's not a lot of things to announce. Obviously last week was a big announcement, and that is that we won't be reopening for worship or Bible study, regular programming uh, during the rest of the year. But having said that, last week we have been at work, uh, the staff and key committees, uh, to begin to re-envision what church is going to be like this fall. The first announcement I have to you uh, to make today is that we have decided that we're going to go ahead on August 23rd with Promotion Sunday. I know that's odd because we're not going to be walking down to a new classroom with our children or something like that, but nonetheless we want to have a sense of normalcy. Now we know that DISD is not beginning even virtual classes until after Labor Day. Other school districts are, however, starting uh, that week. And so uh, we're gonna start our fall uh, Sunday school program on uh, August 23rd. For adults, that probably won't mean very much, but maybe it's a chance for you to try a new Sunday school class if that's something you want to do via Zoom. We have uh, lots of opportunities for Sunday schools to continue to meet, and they are doing so. I know that Lee Curl is teaching uh, the Bible study lesson on Facebook Live this week, uh, and that's always at 1015 Facebook Live. Uh, but we're also going to be talking about different ways that we can actually meet and do new things this fall. Uh, we got a suggestion from one of our deacons, Steve Connor, about uh, how we might start our worship time on Sunday morning with the early service instead of just the late service. And so on August 23rd, uh, we're going to put our YouTube worship at 8.30 so that you'll be able to see it then. And we're looking into ways that we can keep the chat going, maybe on Facebook for the rest of the day or at 11, something like that. There's a lot of things to work out, but we would be open to your suggestions. You can send them to me at pastor at wilshirebc.org. In addition, we're looking for ways to keep our kitchen crew working possibly with some meals that can be picked up uh, this fall. And so uh, be thinking about that and praying for that. We're, we're considering some uh, worship events in the parking lot, maybe resident-led Vespers, say, for instance, once a month uh, as the weather gets a little better, uh, cooler. So there are other things that we're talking about doing and we would encourage your prayers. Now we're all wrestling with the fact that this COVID-19 has really continued to uh, cause havoc with our regular schedules. And then there's the social upheaval and the political upheaval that we're all facing. But facing is, is an important word. James Baldwin, the great uh, essayist and, and writer and thinker uh, about uh, the black experience in America, would have turned 96 years old this week. And he said this, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can change until it is faced. We're facing our responsibilities as a church, and I think we're receiving the power of the Spirit of God to find ways of being community together. Thank you for staying connected with us, for praying for us, for continuing to be church together. We'll see you soon.